Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Crafting Dead Origins. We're back here with another episode. After last episode, we are pretty far out from our comfort zone. If you remember, we gathered up a ton of supplies and I actually did a lot of things off screen by gathering a ton of wood. Now, as I was going back, you know there was a ton of trees there, so I decided why not to get just some off-screen chopping, and I got myself a few, like a stack of uh, spruce wood and 16, and I made a few fences. And that's why, because today, we are actually going to be working on a storage unit because we are stacked with supplies, and let me tell you one thing, okay? We are really running low on chest space, and plus, it's not really the best to just have everything in one chest like this. So because of that, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go and expand into the other building down there by building a safety type wall, which is going to be similar to the prison from the last season of Crafting Dead Survival. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves this farm going because we want to increase as much possible food as possible and just increase this area so every episode until this place is full we're going to be increasing the farm around here that's the goal that's the plan that is the mission so uh where the heck oh there's our hoe perfect we got a ton of uh wheat which is good but we need to continue to expand because like i said i want this place to be full of just a farm feel to it and this is the perfect way to do so so let's just gather up as much of the wheat possible here we go, put the seeds, plant, do a little bit of farming every episode as much as possible, and then we're going to get started. And today we got a lot of cool things, not as much exploring, but we will still do a lot of cool things. Also, here's the top comment. It's going to pop up on the screen. Thank you so much for all the positive comments you left on the last episode. It does mean a lot to see all of that, so I appreciate it. Don't forget, if you want your comment to be featured on this series, make sure you just keep commenting and you know leaving positive feedback and whatever it may be, ideas and things of that nature. So yeah, it's it's gonna be pretty cool I appreciate everything and don't forget to hit that like button let's go see if we can reach 100 likes that would be fantastic alrighty so let's get this bread going here perfect and yeah let's go and start working on this place because as you all know we are kind of really full on supplies from our last uh, loot run so we're gonna do more of those because I'm pretty sure a lot of you really do enjoy them and I see them just popping in here oh my gosh so I did start a bit with the wood here trying to show you guys how it's gonna look now if you guys don't remember in the last season of the crafting dead we did have similar walls however the only difference was oh my god that guy was quick the only difference was that this was actually uh, oh no oh no what's going on get my weapon out okay okay now we're getting attacked by a herd the only difference was we had the cobblestone and iron bars uh, but because now we don't have those medical facilities, f oh my gosh, what the heck? This guy is impossible to take out. What in the world is up with this dude? Okay, I'm kind of afraid of that guy. Do we have any more ammo? No, we do not. And we don't have any other... Oh, we do a sledgehammer. Okay, a sledgehammer to the face should take... No, okay, wow. This guy is a strong dude. This is probably the toughest zombie I have fought yet on this world. So, that says something. Alright, let's keep going here. We gotta build. But as you guys remember, we did a lot of stuff with cobblestone and iron on the old season. That was because we had the medical buildings full of iron. But because now we don't have that anymore, I'm gonna work with a simple design. Oh no. Okay, back off. Back off, dude. Back off. Alright, we're getting attacked slowly. I gotta get some food. Uh, we have some bread on us, perfect. But yeah, but now we don't really have any more iron bars besides these little ones. But if I go around the world just searching for small amounts of this, it's going to take years and years. So I figured it'd be a good idea to just use wood and, uh, and just pretty much uh, wooden fences as well. So that's how it's going to work. I think it's going to look pretty cool. It almost looks like a fallen down tree as well. So it does have a slight theme to it. I'm kind of happy with that. All right, I want to make this symmetric. It's one of my pet peeves. I want everything to look good. And the idea is the pathway is also going to connect to both these towers which is going to be pretty cool so I'm, I'm i'm excited for that i think this is a unique design it's a bit different and geez louise we have so many of these walkers it's actually insane amount uh do we have any melee weapons we have a flamethrower you know what guys i figured it out flamethrower time that's what it is all righty so any walker want to mess with us, we got a flamethrower, okay? That was from the last one. Back off, dude. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This flamethrower is OP, and I'm not afraid to use it, okay? That's how it's going to work now, walkers. You get the crisp. That's what you get. The crisp. I don't even know why I said the crisp, but I guess it makes sense. They get crisped up. I don't know. Whatever. But I don't want any walker or any walker 
crispy food. That's not what I want. But this thing is amazing, and I don't want to use too much of it, but it's really OP, so that's why I'm using it for builds. I think for builds, a flamethrower is the way to go, because as you can tell, it pretty much takes them out in just a matter of seconds, so it really does help with building. But once we have our structure here built, it's going to really help us out big time. So, so far I'm happy with this. Uh, the flooring, I think we're going to go with gravel or just dirt. Oh wait, if this is the updated version, I wonder if you can actually have the textured uh, beaten down pathway. I'm going to try and see, and see how that works out for us, but so far... This is looking great. Oh, we got a guy here. I'm pretty sure, Walker, you don't want to meet the, the flamethrower. You don't want to be turned to a crisp, okay? So you just stay there. Stay there. No one's bothering you, okay? There we go. Perfect. So we got this rolling up pretty nicely. We're going to have to get rid of this water, of course. But let's get the fences up here because that's the main thing we need right now. That's going to keep out the walkers, and I guess it's going to be good. I think we're going to have to make it two blocks or two fences high because, as you guys probably already know, they can probably jump here. Eh, no, actually, they can't. That's why this is better than the iron gates because they actually can jump over the iron gates. So this actually makes things a bit better. I just thought about that now. I'm surprised I didn't figure that out in the old episodes of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. So, um, oh, not Minecraft Survival, like Crafting Dead Survival Let's Play. Because now they can't really get on here besides that. But uh, I'm going to do that and they should be good. They shouldn't be able to get over here. That's a progress right there. I'm pretty happy. That's that's good progress. All right, Walker, you're not going to get the crisp, but uh, we got to get over here. So, yeah. Okay, let's just build that there. Perfect. Do a little jump. Perfect. And start with the fences on this side. And after that, we're going to start working on the interior of this building and really just changing it up as much as possible to make it really just basic for us when it comes to storing supplies. Because as you guys all know, we have a good amount of supplies and uh, I'm not looking to, you know, have less supplies in the future. I'm really looking to build up as much supplies as possible. That's my goal. Oh, don't waste any of the flamethrower. All right, more fences. Perfect. Already, and I'm thinking maybe in the in the future I might want to make a tree farm because I gotta tell you, going around and just getting trees isn't the most efficient thing. All right, dude, you gotta go. I'm sorry. All right, ooh, this is a tough one. This guy is not giving up. Look at him. Jeez, I sound like Negan. <laughs> oh my gosh. All righty, let's forget about Negan. He's he's a scary guy, but I think Daryl is pretty. Pretty beasting him up right now. I think Daryl's showing him who's the boss. If you guys watched the last episode of The Walking Dead, you guys probably already saw that Daryl is up for the fight. I think Daryl's going to be a big key player in this season of Season 7. So for now, we're just going to fill up dirt. I don't have any other supplies. So with dirt, I'm just going to work with that. I think it's basic. A dirt path looks kind of nice. You know, I, I don't want it to be too crazy. I want it to be really nice and rural. And I'm really going to be working on design in, in in this season guys i really want it to look cool um all right i'm liking this path right now i want to put dirt as well here let's block this up just put dirt going here i don't know if i have any slabs i would like to make some slabs actually right now uh let's convert this wood and get some slabs now the reason i want slabs okay i hear some of them but look they can't get in here uh, the slabs are gonna go like this which is pretty nice in my opinion so i like that this guy's not dead look at him he, this is one of the strong zombies. These are the ones I am most afraid of when it comes to fighting because they are difficult. They'll take out your melee weapon like no issue. Look at this. He's using up so much flamethrower juice right now. It's insane. Please die. Please die. Come on now. Come on now. One more hit. Come on. Die now. He is a tough walker. Look at this dude. I know. I sound like, like, like Negan here. Look at him. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is going on? How strong is this guy? This is insane. All right, I want to go back in here. I don't like that dude. He's too strong for me. I don't know what's up with him. All right, let's get some more wood here. All right, let's make ourselves some doors as well. I'm going to go with the... Uh, oh, no, not like that. I'm going to go with the wooden doors because I think that's fine for now. Let's get that going. I want to make a few wooden doors. I don't care if I made a, make a lot. For now, I'm just going to work with it. Is this guy not dead yet? I think this this has to be an award for this walker. This walker, I don't even know what to say about this walker. He's the most intense walker. He's the strongest walker. Look, he's nodding to that. He's like, yeah, you got more? Finally. Okay, jeez. He was really getting annoying. But now he's gone, finally. Okay, I don't know what to do with this side, to be honest, guys, and with the upstairs. But I'm thinking we're still going to work with the farm theme for this place for the most part. That's, I think, the main goal. Um, all right, should we add some fences maybe like, like this? That will look kind of nice. Kind of like... Making it look a little bit cozy. Uh, I think that's okay. 
just kind of building a little 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 station i think that's fine that's perfect i think that's cool because you can still go here get what you need still got an entrance all right i'm happy with that let's actually do that as well Perfect. Separate the sugar cane. I'm liking it, guys. This is looking pretty decent. All right, we got to make a lot of chests right now. As you guys know, we need a lot of storage, and chests are the go-to right now. So we have a total of 13 chests. That's not too many, but it's okay with how much supplies we have. I'm actually going to put a door right here, uh, and then eventually we can change things up. Now, I want to change this here. I don't really like that we have to climb up so many stairs. So I'm going to make it a bit you know easier to get up the stairs give it some more space oh my gosh my mouse just freaked out alrighty so this is good you have some space we'll make it one more block there oh it's turning night I don't have and I don't even have a bed so I can't do much I just have to live through the night uh, well it is what it is not a big deal alright so there we go that that's oh there we go slap perfect so there's the design it's coming along well I'm really happy I want to make some torches as well but I think I just used up most of my wood uh, let's see if I have any torches here. Oh, no, I have most of my wood here. Perfect. Alrighty, and I think I have some coal. I thought I had coal. No, I do not. Oh, well, this is an issue now. We don't have any coal. I don't want to go mining because I just don't want to go through that hassle. Look at these walkers just trying to get in here. This is actually kind of crazy. I wonder if they can bump each other. Oh, they can. Okay, herds can actually get in here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is, this is actually pretty dangerous. Oh gosh, that's a quick one. Alright, so this is a big news that I just found out. So herds can actually bump into each other. Oh wait, no, they can't. This is there, that's why. But I think they still can bump into each other and, and glitch themselves in the system, which is kind of crazy. Alright, let's clear out this place. Alrighty, dude, back off. What I want to do is actually I'm going to make a flint and steel quickly because I do have that. And with the flint and steel, we are going to make some light over there. Just some basic looking light because I don't have any torches. I uh, apologize about that, but it is what it is right now. We just got to deal with it. Oh, where's the flint? Bam. What? You, oh, there we go. I was worried for a second. I'm like, when did flint and steel not appear in this? So that's back. Okay, good. Um, I'm liking the pathway so far again. We're gonna have to uh, you know extend our pathways into the towers But guys, this is a great feeling just to be safe and not have any walkers after us. It's a big relief I gotta be honest. I I'm pretty happy right now. All right, so the torches are the these are gonna be temporary torches for now We definitely got to clear out this area. So all right. Good job, Alex and you are totally a legend at this one <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna carry some wood with me at all times now because I got carried away thinking I have everything I need but again, I don't. So I'm going to take 16 with me. I'm going to make myself the shovel, which is what I need right now. So I can actually clear out the place. Because it has a bit of a bit of uh, dirt inside. So I want to... I want to get that cleaned up but so far guys we're making a lot of progress i'm pretty happy and psyched about this also we're gonna get working on negan's place probably in the next episode once we get this storage unit complete it's gonna be pretty nice i'm happy oh man this flint steel sounds like it's not gonna do too much for us here but let's just start clearing out this place it's filled in with dirt but we're gonna start storing um or actually placing down oh Oh, I thought there was going to be loot. We're going to start placing down some chests. And for now, I think we're going to create a temporary storage room so that we can kind of get things organized. And then we're going to make it really cool. I'm actually going to work hard on making a nice looking storage room uh, because I want it just to be something that looks decent and looks like it's been, uh, you know, put some effort into it like that I can say. All right. This place is coming along well. I'm liking this. All right. We need some water. Do I have water here? Yes, I do. Fantastic looking good also i'm thinking what do we do here maybe we can do that that doesn't look half bad either to be honest looks like it could be a type of gate and we with some torches on top there i think this is a half decent look look at all those walkers that were safe from look they're gonna try to get in here they can't look they're shaking their head they know it <laughs> so this is pretty awesome Alrighty, so for the design i really don't know how i'm gonna do this but you know i want to make it somewhat decent uh, for us right now so an entrance I'm thinking maybe we can have some uh, some armories or something around here but I think inside we should enter and get ourselves supplies I think that's the best way to go about it so for now I'm just gonna store my storage here and I'm gonna do the same style I have from my Minecraft survival let's play which is they're gonna be on the bottom and the top like this and these are gonna be the structures holding the chests I think that's cool I think it's going to be a nice design. Hopefully, you guys approve of this. So, it's a compact space. Uh, it's not too bad. Okay, I'm, I'm happy with this, I think. Uh, let's see. Should I do anything else with this chest? Actually, maybe I want it to face the other way. 
Uh, I don't know if it's going to work out that way, but we're going to give it a shot. Cannot break it. There we go. All right. Let's see if I can do it this way. Yeah, there we go. So that's better. They're facing each other. Um, I like that. Okay, storage unit looks half decent. It's a compact space, which we will uh, change. So I'm liking it so far. This is good. I'm happy with this, guys. That's a first. All right, so for now, we're just going to store in. I think we're going to put the food on the top here. So any food that we have. Oh, actually, I think I, I should keep the food at the farm area. So I'm thinking uh, we're just going to have the blocks, wooden blocks, or any type of blocks are going to go on this side here and just store them here for now. I think I can work with that. All right, some doors we have. I forgot about that. All right, and then the top one here can be... Oh, wait, canned food can also stay. We can have an emergency stash of canned food. I think that's fair to say. And then over here we'll have um, any type of backpacks, any items that we can carry with us. We'll go there. And then over here we'll have some melee weapons by any chance. We don't have anything. This one will be the medical supply. Uh, do I have anything in this here? Oh, we do. Perfect. So we do have some medical gear. All right, I'm going to snatch some of that. Perfect. Oh, I do have some ammo as well. That's much needed. So this is going to be the medical gear stash, which we have somewhat developing. It's not too bad. Um, and over here is going to be the armory. So I'm going to keep the empty mag in there for now. Uh, and other than that, we're going to keep this mag. And I think I do have extra mags. There we go. Those are going to go inside here for other type of ammos and guns. Uh, do I have any more guns? No, I do not on me. Okay, perfect. So, making progress over here. We're going to have the drinks. And awesome, guys. I'm pretty happy with this outcome. It looks good. It's a good storage unit. It's it's developing. It's a work of progress. Tell you that much. So I'll put that light there. Nice. And I'm also thinking we might even expand it here um, and just put a wall. I'm still thinking. I don't know. I need your suggestions from the comment sections because then I'd be kind of more more happy about you know deciding a design for this place. I don't want it to look like this. I wanted to change it up as much as possible. I thought that was a ghost for a second. All right, let's re reload this gun. Running low on mags, so I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to, for now, keep it on my back. And I think so far it's been a really successful episode. I'm pretty happy with this, guys. I got to be honest with you. I wasn't expecting it to get that much progress done. But it's time to actually break into this area as well. So I figure, you know what? It's time for that too. So I don't have enough cobble for, you know, we can make a wooden axe. I think that's fine. All right. So, oh, sweet. Okay, never mind. Uh, no, never mind. We need, we need cobble. <laughs> we need cobble right now. All right, do I have anything here? I think I should have some cobble. Ah, we have plenty. Sweet. All righty. And guys, please, in the comment sections, I need some advice on what else I should do for around this area here because, you know, we definitely still have a lot of work to do inside this building and that building. But right now, I'm also going to um, just kind of enter this building a bit as well, make a little pathway going into it. So I think it's fair to say we should go with the three design like everything else around here. And we will put the blocks like this. So one here. Let me actually put uh, cobble on this side here. Okay, I'm messing things up. There we go. So cobble there and cobble there so that it actually looks pretty cool. So there we go. That looks not bad. I'm pretty happy with this design. Oh, no. I see the walker trying to sneak up in here. So we covered it all up. We're safe. And now we can actually break into this place. And this is going to be a building. I don't know what we're going to do with it. That's why I need your suggestions so that I can actually, you know, think of what we can do with these towers. They can be lookout towers. They can be whatever you guys want. But uh, we need we need suggestions. That's all we need right now. Anything in here? No. All right. So that means we don't have dirt, but we can fill it up later. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed today's episode, look at that. We have the sunrise. We spent a full night working as well. That, that's a lot of progress. Tell you that much. So going from the top here, looks like the top is pretty secure. And we can also connect it to this building. So this looks pretty awesome. I have to be honest, guys, this is a really cool looking base. I love this pathway. I love that it has a nice theme as well. When you're going from here, I don't know if I'm going to make this jump. Uh, I'm going to try not to risk it. I'm just going to build a cross. Just for now, this is a temporary build, so I can show you guys here. We got the farm. We got a nice bridge. We got Negan's place that we're going to be theming out and building, which is going to be pretty cool. I love the bridge. We got to work on the entrance. Um, you know, we go through the food area, get some food, gather up, walk this nice pathway, 
two towers that you can enter maybe have something there i don't know what it can be but we'll figure it out maybe we can do some npcs in there and just set them up as just some villagers living here too um and then we have the storage unit there and i think from there on we're going to work on other projects around by here build some bigger farms maybe you know herschel's farm uh we got a lot of cool things and projects compared to the walking dead you know similar to them i mean um that we're gonna take ideas from and it's gonna be pretty cool i'm excited if you guys enjoyed today's episode make sure you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed everything you know if you have any comments suggestions let me know in the comment sections for you for your comment to be featured as a top comment as well my name is alex and peace out and stay foxy